All right. So, new locale. I am in a cleaned out. My wife calls it the rec room of our house, and we finally got it cleaned out. So, I'm in here. I moved the table I usually do the reviews on for my sunroom. I moved that in here. Um, so, here I am. Now, I thought I posted this review, and when I was looking through all my old videos, I found out that was not the case. I did not post this review. Uh, it's kind of unfortunate because this is a very good sauce. Um, it's another ghost pepper sauce. Now, um, the last ghost pepper sauce I reviewed was the Seafire Gourmet ghost pepper sauce, and it was a very good sauce. This is another ghost pepper sauce, also very good. And this one comes from Elijah's Extreme. And I have not tried a product from Elijah's Extreme that I didn't really enjoy. Uh, reviewed a few of them. I've sampled a few of them, I should say. I've reviewed the Extreme Regret, and I reviewed their Reaper Mash. And like both of those, um, I'm looking to try their Reaper Sauce. I was going to grab a bottle last time Roger did his sampling, and that never happened. My work schedule would not permit me to, so it's unfortunate. Um, but like I said, this is Elijah's Extreme Ghost Pepper Sauce. Um, goes over their little history on the back. I'm not going to read all of it. Um, but it basically just says how Elijah, when he was six years old, he uh, wanted to try the world's hottest pepper. And to start, his dad gave him, gave him a banana pepper. And things just escalated from there. Um, Elijah'sExtreme.com. You can check them out on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, uh, Instagram, a couple other sites. So check them out there. Um, I will also be putting a link for their site in the description. Uh, Elijah's Extreme, Father and Son Handcrafted Ghost Pepper Sauce. Go over the ingredients real quick Naga Jolokio and Habanero Peppers, Water, Tomato Paste, Salt, Sugar, glucose, roasted garlic, apple cider vinegar, garlic, acetic and citric acids, uh, both for regulators, acidity regulators, onion, soybean oil, carrot, lime, microcrystalline cellulose, carbizomethyl cellulose and xanthan gum as natural thickeners, passion fruit, uh, which is just for citric extracts and ascorbic acid as an antioxidant. Uh, some interesting ingredients in there. I wouldn't have expected to see passion fruit, but it is a good sauce, so give her a smell. Kind of has that uh, habaneros are really citrusy, and like, it definitely has a habanero smell to it. It also has like, that ghost peppery smell to it. Ghost peppers have a very distinctive smell. And I can definitely pick up on that. Pick up on onion and garlic. A little bit of the sugar. Five calories. A teaspoon per serving. Uh, I want to say I can smell the carrot too. Huh. Uh, let's... Give this a spoonful. Got a really nice consistency. Good condiment consistency. A uh, little bit hot to be used for a condiment, I would think. But uh, for somebody like me, you could experiment around with it and 
and you find something you like it on, I will. It's gonna give me hiccups. Wait for it. Here's the first one. Number two. Um, <clears throat> first things I pick out. It's a given. Excuse me. It's gonna be the peppers. Um, other than the peppers, I can definitely taste the carrot and the onion. A little bit of the vinegar in there. Both the acetic acid and the, uh, which is just regular vinegar. And the uh, apple cider vinegar. Little hints of sweetness from, su from sugar. Um, it's got a really good flavor to it. Um... I'm gonna give it a nine on the flavor. Um, it's just a really nice blend, um, really rich. Um, it does have smokiness and a little bit of citrusy notes from the habanero. Um, I'm gonna be adding the smokiness from the ghost peppers. Uh, the burn, it affects the throat first, uh, kind of builds, and then at least for me, it's settling on my tongue, the back of my tongue. Um, it's not a super strong burn. Not one that lasts anyhow. I'd probably give it a five for somebody like me. Uh, if you're non-chili head, that's going to be on the upper ends. Probably an eight or a nine. Uh, you'd want to use that in pretty small amounts. I don't see any reason why somebody like me wouldn't go ahead and just add a tablespoon to something. Um, you could use that in any of your soups, stews. Uh, yeah, add that to a glaze to add some extra heat, a little bit of smokiness to it. Uh, a lot of people like to use liquid smoke. I don't. I would just as soon use like something that I'm a chili head. Ghost peppers are naturally smoky flavored. Let's use that, but um, what would I use that in? Well, like I said, soup stews. You could add that to any glaze mixture you wanted to add it to. Um, I love tomato soup, especially with grilled cheese sandwiches. This would be my go-to sauce for grilled cheese sandwiches and tomato soup. Um, it's already got the nice, nice consistency of the tomato paste. Uh, it's got a really nice consistency that would mix in with it. Um, it's got a nice burn to it. It's not overpowering. So yeah, I give that nine on the flavor, five on the burn. Again, if you're chili head, that's going to be on the upper ranges of an eight or a nine, uh, just depending on what your tolerance is. Uh, definitely check it out. Link for Elijah's Extreme will be in the description. Uh, Big thank you to this father-son duo. Um, put a lot of love into their sauces, and I thank them for it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys, and I will catch you again later.